All right, guys, David here. I am showing uh, this house on Jefferson Street. I, I'm coming out here anyway because it looked like a good house, and believe it or not, it's kind of heading in this direction. So, uh, it's a beautiful little street. You've got the downtown area right over that hill right there. Lots of really cute houses all around. Uh, it definitely needs a new roof. I will start by saying that. So the house absolutely needs a roof. I think that the uh, report said five years old on the roof, so I don't know where they got that information, but it is not. Covered porch. Nice big covered porch. I believe that's vinyl siding. Nope, that is a uh, that is a wood siding. I think it's a uh, just an old kind of a pine wood siding. So let's come on in. As we come in, so a neat little foyer lobby, kind of just a greeting room. Really neat. Beautiful front door. And immediately to the right is the first bedroom. Nice and big. With two windows. Of course, none of the fireplaces are active. but probably looks like it might supply heat. I am checking to see if there's a central heat in there. I don't see one yet, but we'll keep on, keep on the lookout for that. On the closet, uh, they have a pass-through closet. So you're sharing this closet with the bedroom on the other side. You can see the other door right there. For its age, the home feels nice and solid. There's always going to be a little bit of rolling and dipping. You see a small crack right there over the door. Nothing that scares me at all. So to the left after coming in, the front door, you've got a small living room. Yeah, what they've done, I believe that instead of central heat and air you have heaters in each room uh, where the fireplaces used to be we'll look for some air conditioning hey i'm wrong yay there's a vent in the floor right there so we have central heat and air uh, we'll go take a look at that unit here in a second typical with the old style you've got these really wide transitions between rooms the house feels like it was built very well so we come into kitchen and dining. One big open space that they looks like they've taken walls out and done a really good job of, uh, you know, converting it into a very usable space. And with that, it's a nice sizable kitchen, and they did an awesome conversion putting the stove in the island or, you know, in the uh, peninsula to integrate the two spaces very nicely. They even have a pantry. As you can see, the cabinetry has been updated. So you can't see it, but right about here, you can, can't really see it, like I said, but it dips. So there is a, a dip where they've placed this heavy stuff here. Uh, you can see it even in the little gap there. And right here, it is dipping. Um, 
I would think that's going to need just some sort of support under the house unless they've already done that. But a really nice space. On the other side of the kitchen, you have a laundry room with shelving, full size, and size for an additional little freezer. Very nice. We'll go upstairs in a second. Here is the first bath. This is a full bath. And it looks like that whole room has been added because that's a newer door. And they have a nice puppy. I know, I know, darling. Uh, but they do have older doors. The charm of the older doors, which is super nice. And we're into the master now. Master has two closets. One of them is that shared closet with the room behind you. Good size room, that's a huge bed. Big four poster bed, so it's taking up a lot of space and there's still furniture all around. So very, very nice uh, sized master. And they've added, so you've got the newer trim here with the newer door, so they've added a, a primary bath as attached to the master with a single sink and a stand-in shower. There's a soft spot in the floor right there. Um, that is something we'll have to figure out. Um, I believe they identified that in their property disclosure. So that's two bedrooms down and two full baths down. Let's go upstairs. Typical with the age of the house is a very thin, narrow staircase. And let's see what happens. Once we get up here, we've got some, some open space here. And we have, looks like a bedroom on the right for bedroom number three. I'm thinking this might be a closet. Yeah, closet there. Not sure, if, I guess they're using this more of a game room. Would make a nice office. A little tight on the windows though. It's cool up here. Big time gamers. And then directly across is small bedroom. Which I guess would be bedroom number three. No window. May not truly be considered a bedroom without a window. It has just a closet space there. Uh, this area has not been updated or excuse me, has not been finished out professionally, but it does exist. And probably a fun little space for the kiddo. Okay. I think they said it was 1,900 square feet. I don't feel like it's that big, unless I'm missing a part of the house somewhere. Look around. <laughs> On to the outside. Wonderful yard. Holy smokes, that's a great yard.
big storage. There's a lot to like about this house. I don't think it is without a couple issues. I don't know if those issues would be any different than any other house of this age. In fact, I would say this house is in better shape than most of this age. We just turn some lights off as we talk here. But by and large, I think it's a good house. I don't know if $299 is a realistic number for it. Um, I have to look. I don't. I don't know the Carthage market as well as you know the Nashville or Murfreesboro market, but I will take a look at that and find out if you know if that's a reasonable price. And if it's not, we'll see if it can make more sense for you. But good showing, good house, good location. I think there is plenty to like and I look forward to your thoughts on it I will finish turning off lights here showing you around one last time as I do and wait to hear your thoughts as always thank you I'll talk to you soon. Bye.